Winnipeg Stadium, the site of the 98 Grey Cup Classic, as well as the opening ceremony for the 99 Pan American Games just about a year from now. Inside the arena, the Pacific Alliance battles on Zhao Ju of China on the floor exercise. He's got to be wondering about the condition of his brother. They're very close. They train together. They encourage each other, support each other. Front handspring, front full, front layout, front one and a half. Scott, it's become a compulsory line. Every guy out there is doing it for the huge bonus points. Talked about the incredible depth in China. On the floor exercise at the national championships this year, Zhao Zhu finished second. And they're very young. The twins are 20. And the other team members they brought are only 16 and 17 years old. So you can see the future of China. And one of the 16-year-olds, Jing Aoi, continues to lead the individual all-around competition. Zhao Zhu has a very balanced routine. Big tricks, lots of strength. But the judges are also looking for a little flair, a little pizzazz, and he has that. Following in the tradition of Li Shaoshuang, a hero to him. But he is definitely saving the best for last. Watch this. Double twisting, double back. It's a little short, but boy, is that tough to get to your feet at the end of your routine when you're completely fatigued. And that mat there to absorb the impact of that dismount at the end of the floor exercise, banging his head. <laughs> Zhao Ju, another look. Can't believe he got it down. You're looking at two twists, two flips, before he comes back down. The map is not a deduction. They are allowed to put that in to absorb the landing. Part of the dynamic duo, as you said, Carol Angela, 9.2 for Zhao Zhu of China. And here's American superstar Blaine Wilson. High hopes for him at the 2000 Olympics in Sydney. He is growing in terms of his prowess with every meet he takes part in. Well, this, this particular competition is going to be hard for me because I've had a, a couple injuries and I haven't been able to train the exact way I wanted to train for this meet. Um, but I think this, this meet for me will be more of a mental competition than it is a physical competition. Um, so it should be good. You know, I have to learn how to deal with that. Lane scored very well on the floor exercise and now he goes to the rings. And I have always been very impressed with Blaine's mental composure. Remember, this sport is physical, technical, and psychological, and he's a very well-balanced athlete. Now you're getting a great example of his physical strength. The upper body has to be so strong in order to be successful. All of the positions must be held for two seconds, and you can see his muscles are really working. He needs to keep the rings fairly steady. Gorgeous front giant must stop in the handstand position, getting ready for the dismount. Full twisting double layout. Ooh, he did not want to take that hop. That'll be a tenth. Tenth all around at the World Championships in Switzerland. Interesting, you talked to him. He said it's not cockiness, it's confidence. 9-5 is what that confidence is built on for Blaine Wilson of the United States. There's Peter Schmidt, the reigning Canadian champion, out with an injury, unable to compete, but still giving his teammates a hand, warming them up. Great to see him down there with Team Canada. Wish he was on the competitive floor. Sebastian Fortier now of Ottawa, Ontario, originally, now lives in Gatineau. And a very interesting routine. Sebastian and his coach, Matthew Sparks, have studied the Coda points thoroughly. He doesn't have any of the traditional big tricks, but he knows how to work the code, and his start value is 9.8, which is very impressive. Now, here's a perfect place where he's getting most of his marks. Palma horse work, beautiful spindle, and a little break dancing. Nice lines by the 21-year-old Sebastian Fortier. He's young with a bright future. Now he'll impress you with phenomenal strength. <laughs> Almost impossible to hold that, and he does it beautifully. 
Making his rise quickly at the 97 Nationals in Ottawa, he was 23rd all around, but really creeping up for a shot on this national team. Now that's the only part of the routine that is weak, to finish with a double twist and then to get stalled in the air slightly. But his routine is impressive to the judges because of tricks like this. Whip through to one and a half, one and a half. Judges love to see the intricate twisting and they give big bonus for it. Masterful job by the young Canadian, 9.250 on the floor exercise. So three are done at the Aoi of China pulling away. Kratzoff of Australia and Wilson of the U.S. next, the top Canadians, Burley and Aikida. China continues to lead the pack in the team competition handily. Meantime, Canada tries to get a handle on the pommel horse when we return to Winnipeg. Warming up is Canadian Richard Aikida, who knows he must carry much of the load for a shorthanded men's team with Peter Schmidt and Alexander Jeltkov out. Aikida is being counted on. Uh, it doesn't really make me nervous. It just sort of makes me more aggressive because I have to, I guess, fill in for those guys who are a little injured and, uh, you know, can't really perform at their peak. So uh, for, for myself, it just makes me more aggressive and makes me want to train more and, you know, be ready for the team. Unlike most gymnasts, one of his favorite events is the pommel horse. And it is his best event. And Scott, I like the word he's using, aggressive. Team Canada must be aggressive. He has a very intricate routine, and that adds to the risk. He has a full 10-point start value. That means the content is huge. It's what the judges want to see. But every time you add the intricate maneuvers, the chance of falling is huge. So he's off the horse now, but back on to resume the routine. Now the good news is I have seen him fall before and still score over nine, which attests to how much is actually in this routine. Beautiful single pommel work, lots of bonus there. It's unfortunate he fell, the flow he's got going now, great rhythm, pushing through to the dismount. And Richard talked about that rhythm earlier before this pommel horse routine. It was interrupted by the fall, but still, as you say, he scores well, even with the fall, an even nine. Andre Kratzoff of Australia, and he is a rising star, and the Australians are building their men's program around him. A great athlete. Work Forbes is really pleased. That's the coach lifting him up to the high bar. Really pleased with Andre's progress. He's quite talented, but interestingly enough, he stays within his comfort zone, so he always looks like he's in control. Born in Russia, but has competed for Australia for about four years now. He says he loves it there. <laughs> That's his new home. Hi, Flying Dekachev right into a great ginger. Now again, those aren't the huge release moves. Those aren't the ease and the super ease. They are valued at C, but it is impressive. He's combining two in a row, and the judges do want to see that. Winding up for the dismount. Double twisting, double layout. Flies out the other end, but gets it under control. He had Australia in the top 20 at the last World Championships in Switzerland, finishing 19th all around. Little smile from Andre there. Putting on a good show for the judges. No deductions here. Catch is fully extended with straight arms. Puts it up exactly right. Catches with straight arms. Perfect form. Kratzoff of Australia scores a solid 9.450 on the horizontal bar. Not much international experience for 25-year-old Chris Young of the United States, uh, but he's got a big bolt coming up. He is going to be such an important player for USA. So powerful. Watch this. He burns down the runway. Handspring double front makes it look too easy. Gives it the little pump there. Knows he's got the job done. Chris Young of Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Look at that, a 9-5 on the vault.